Hello, Rick. Ah, shut up, Morty. <laughs> it's okay, Morty. <laughs> shut up, Morty. <laughs> ah, Rick. I went to a place where everyone was young, and I was the only old one there. And everyone looked at me, and they all wanted to be with me, Rick. They all wanted to be with me. They all. Morty, sorry. They all wanted to be with me, Morty. And I was like, really amazing, Morty. But the problem was, I ran out. I ran out of juice. I ran out of juice. So we've got no way to make it back, Morty. We've got no way to make it back. So I'm gonna need you to do me something really solid. Uh, I need you to get know, these Rick. seeds, and I need you to shove them right up there, Morty. I need you to shove them right up your butt, Morty. Uh, I, don't know, I need Rick. you to shove them right up your butt, Morty. You gotta shove them right up your butt, Morty. You gotta uh, get them. I don't know, we, 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 we've gotta get these out. We gotta make sure we can get these back home, Morty. We really screwed up this time, Morty. Uh, we really screwed up. Uh, so I need you to shove the seeds right up your uh, butt, Morty. <laughs> can you do that, Morty? Can you do uh, that? I don't know, Rick. That sounds very dangerous. I don't know. <laughs> So this week, going out to Hume Vale, which is just past Whittlesea. We're going there this week, as next week is the Hume Vale ITT. That's a race where we race from the bottom to the top. One lane road, and it's narrow, and it's bumpy. Not a lot of cars use it, so it's a really good uh, spot for training for, for cyclists to use it. And it's also one of the uh, roads uh, where I've seen a lot of the uh, wildlife that Australia has to offer. A few snakes, quite a few wallabies go there as well. So you got to be watch out, watch out for those guys. TJ, how are you going? <laughs> so, what's your plan for today? Uh, I think, I think we'll go up to, towards Hume Vale, and uh, we'll do it maybe like two or three times. Yep. So we'll do one of them in the TT, so you can get practice. And I'll just go on my road bike, so I'll just put that. Yep. Um, and then, then we'll go from there. We'll, we'll test to uh, see see how you go on the TT rig. Maybe, Sounds good. Maybe uh, do one at full pace because I haven't done one at full pace in a up in a long time. Because I've got a power meter, I wanted like pace myself up it. Ah uh, yes, yes. And then we'll go down, go down the fast way. <laughs> I am ultraviolet man. I will bring death and destruction to the universe by uh, uh, washing out every photograph in, the, in existence, making entertainment business destroyed. <laughs> peacock. Damn, G. Hi there, Mr. Peacock. Oosh, 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 oosh. Running over. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's so adorable. <laughs> It's so adorable! So pretty! So I'm cold and I'm contemplating just going home and going on Zwift. No Zwift. Oh no. No Zwift. I don't think I've actually, actually ever done a, a climb in a time trial position like this. So this is going to be quite interesting. Let's have a look at this. However, I have my... The wheels on that I would prefer to be on flat roads rather than climbing roads because they slow me down on climbs. Temperature check? Two degrees. Two degrees. It, it, it is, is 38 degrees shorter than what it should be. 40 degree days. That's where I smash it. Kapow man, full throttle. Ah, the weather couldn't be better. It's calm, it's sunny, it's uh, bright, the road is dry. There's a bit of Debris around, but that's okay. And um, let's give it a crack.
So for me that was a bit of a climb where you you could quite happily sit in the TT position and not feel uncomfortable around the corners. So that's what I was looking out for in that climb, just to see what it felt like doing tight corners or tight turning in the TT or in the tuck position. And because you're only doing sort of 20, 22 k's an hour, it didn't really matter. So that's a good sign. The climb itself didn't feel that hard. Like it's, it's a little tough sitting in the TT position the whole time because you you want to just sit up so there were a few times that I sat up there are a couple of kicks that you might have to stand up on but apart from that it wasn't too bad so um, that was that was sort of a 95% effort in the end when I was only thought expecting to do sort of 75 to 80 uh, and that felt fairly easy
So things are looking really good for next week's time trial that's happening just on the same road. And the reason why we're coming out to Humeval for this for this series is because it's a it's a great place to ride a bike. It's really good for training on, as there was one car that was there and it was local and he gave everyone plenty of room and he was really nice on the road to Smiles be around. Smiles and waves. Smiles and waves and it's just a, a really nice place to, to, to ride. Uh, there's plenty of wildlife that lives out there. Uh, we didn't see any out today. It might be a little bit cold and might be the slightly wrong time. But come as the uh, as it's dawn or dusk, and you'll definitely see a wallaby or two. We saw uh, plenty of riders out at Humeville today, uh, and plenty of joggers as well. Um, I think there there are tri uh, triathlons or triathletes, so that they're they're running up as well. Always good to uh, to see some other uh, other people out there, as they make really good like targets for you to to keep pushing on. And one of my favourite bits about Humeval is the descent. Uh, it's not super steep, but it's super technical. And if you, the best way to practice your skills and learn the, how your bike reacts onto on different roads is definitely Humeval, as it's bumpy, tight corners, and you just really know how far you can push your bike. Um, so, so we're here so you can test which bike will be fastest. Yes. There's two times on the TT. This time you did the roadie with aero bars. Yes. Clip on aero bars. What's the fastest time? So far, uh, the roadie with TT bars was about 30 seconds faster than the TT bike. That's that's the difference between a first place and a tenth place. Yeah. That's that's huge. So you're obviously going to go to the TT with the uh, road bike. Yep. Was there was there much difference in uh, amount of effort you're you're putting out, or is it just complete just faster? So heart rate was about the same. So I was about 175, 174 beats per minute, which is sort of 90% of my, my threshold heart rate. And time was about 30 seconds faster, as we said. But power was well down. So I don't know if it's the power meter or if I actually wasn't putting out as much effort. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I'll give it one more go now and see how that goes without the TT bars or the clip-on bars and make a decision this week. Yeah, cool. Well, good luck for it. I'll see, you. You, see you next Sunday. Yeah, that's it. And if, if, we were, if we're racing down Humevale, I think the easy verdict would be... Oh, roadie <laughs> for sure. So much easier. TT bike is uh, hard to control down. Thank you for watching All About The Bike. Tune in every Monday to see more videos from different cycling stories from all across Melbourne, from the Danongs to the North Hills to Beach Road. Click here for our latest videos, here for more videos, click here to subscribe, and you can follow me on Strava, Instagram and Facebook.